This is Stumpy, Stumpy Outdoors. Today, we're going to do an alteration to my trailer. I have a trailer that is sort of a do-all. I haul my four-wheelers on it. I haul, my, I haul my lawnmower when I need to, and I haul my kayak on it. I'm going to make some alterations to it today so that I can haul two more kayaks so when me and my friends go, we have a little bit less trouble trying to do our shuttling. I want to do something that is removable so when I do haul my four-wheeler, it's not too much trouble to take it off and be ready to go again. Well, we're going to get started. Once we get, we get the parts laid out, we'll be back. All right, here is some inch and a half by inch and a half by eighth inch angle. I've already got it cut to length. And what I'm going to do is this is going to be my outside framework that I actually bolt to my trailer. I have some unistrut that I'm going to make my crossbars with, and I think I'm going to sleeve that unistrut with some two and a half inch PVC. I think that'll make it easy sliding my kayaks off and on. I don't, I don't think it'll be a problem to tie it down. All right, we've got all our parts laid out. We we'll have our angle that we're going to use. Got a assortment of nuts and bolts. Got our unit strut and our PVC, and we've got a few holes to drill. Uh, we finally got the boat off the trailer so we can actually work on it a little bit. We're going to get started. Once we get a get about halfway through and I get my angles mounted on it and get ready to weld them up, we'll come back and we'll see what it looks like at that point. Okay, we have our side rails mounted. We have our unistrut laid across them. We drilled a couple holes up in the top here in, in our cross, uh, side bars. We're going to mount this stuff up here in just a little bit. Just wanted to show you how far we'd come along and what we had actually done. And as you can see, we've just made a bracket for each side of the trailer, and we're going to run a we're going to run a unistrut across and span it. And we're also going to sleeve the unistrut with this PVC pipe. So the next time I see you, I think my trailer may be done. All right, we're back. We have it just about finished now. We actually have it far enough along we could use it if we needed to. But I think I've done what I wanted to do here. As you can see, this bar right here is just a little bit above the top of my my rod holder on my on my trolling motor mount and the whole purpose for this was if I when I carried other people with me and they carried their kayaks and canoes I had to take my boards off and on to what the way I used to mount the extra uh, canoes on here in kayaks this way I can slide my boat off and on I can load it in the water I can leave my my rack up all year long only time I need to take it off will be during hunting season when I run to my four-wheeler and when I have to move my lawn more, but other than that, I think I can leave it just like it is. I think it's going to work really well. Uh, I know it's a little bit, a little bit high to have to lift a heavy boat up to, but uh, I think two of us can get your boat started and slide it right up on there. I think I'm going to sleeve the rest of it with another piece of PVC and put me a eye hook out on the end, uh, each end, so I'll have something to tie down to. I think from a tie down in the middle. Between the two boats, I think I'm going to put a just loop a rope up there and I hook it to that. That way, I can take it off and on and move it to whatever position it needs to be moved to. Well, I think that's pretty much for this video. I still need to clean everything up and do a little painting so my steel don't rust. But other than that, I think we're ready to go. This is Stumpy, and you're watching Stumpy Outdoors. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. To my YouTube channel. Like it? I'd certainly appreciate it. Have a good day.